Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do this little beauty. Um, I'm a little late to the game, but I had to pick this up. This is the Sleeping Beauty, the 1959 collection Briar Rose Blush Palette by Bisa May. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Bisa May, you're missing out. Uh, they focus on vintage uh, classic makeup. Uh, this is the packaging. They did a collab with Disney and this is for Sleeping Beauty. I couldn't get over how beautiful the packaging is and I love uh, most of my products that I've ever received or gotten from Besame. So let's just uh, open the package here. So it is this beautiful kind of rose gold metaled package. Um, it will get fingerprints but I don't really care about that. Um, I know I'm going to blind you guys for a second so I'm apologizing but you guys have to see the inside of this mirror is so cute. It has the little detail, the bunny, the trees, the bushes, and then these here of course are the blushers and then the highlighters as well. Um, today I'm going to use this palette a little bit differently um, than normal. I'm going to use it as eyeshadow and as blusher because why not? You can use products for multiple things. But I just want to show you guys again, like the front of this packaging is gorgeous. It has, um, of course, um, Princess Aurora. It has a little bunny, the squirrel, and the little birds. I couldn't resist this palette. It is $35. I know this is limited edition. I'm not sure at the timing of this video if you guys are able to still pick this up, but um, I did, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, like I said, guys, it is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Eye Base, as always. I'm going to start this little look off with, let's use our Luxie uh, 237 blending brush. I am going to go into this, um, let's see, let's show you guys if I can as well. I'm going to go into this lighter pink here, which these are blush shades, but you can use any shade that you want um, that is a pressed powder on your eyes for the most part. Um, be aware that sometimes because they're pressed pigments, it will cause staining or irritation. I'm gonna take my MAC uh, 221 brush and I'm gonna go into this darker pink on the outer V of my eye. So keeping it focused on the outer V. Just taking that original brush, kind of cleaning up, making it look a little more blended, right? Okay. So then I'm gonna take a flat synthetic brush, doesn't matter which one you guys have, and then I'm gonna go into this um, highlighter shade down here, and then I'm gonna pack that on top of it as well. So now we're going to do the cheeks. I already have um, my contour on. I'm gonna go in with my trusty blush brush. You guys use whatever you like. I'm gonna start with this brighter pink. I like to start slow. Um, these build up pretty quickly, so. I like my blush a little more dramatic. Keep that in mind. If you don't like your blush as dramatic, then just use less. Then I like to go, after I did that dark pink, then I'm gonna do the light pink on top, just because it adds a little bit of a different hue to the blush. So pretty with that extra little pop. Then I like to take my highlighter brush and then I'm gonna go with um, this shade here and then I'm gonna do that as well. Focusing on the tops of my cheekbones. Then I like to go into this kind of gold white shade and then I just focus that on the outer part of the eye. I'm also gonna take that gold shade and put it um, in my inner tear duct with my ring finger. All right guys, so with the magic of YouTube, I am back. This is a completed look with the Bisame Sleeping Beauty blush um, collection. Again, I realize that this is a blush collection, but don't be afraid to use um, powder products in other ways. I use them as eyeshadows all the time or even like lip toppers. You can use them as highlighters, blushes, um, contours, like pretty much whatever you want you can use um, pressed powder for. Just be aware of sometimes if they are pressed pigments, it could be staining or irritate your eyes only because it doesn't specify for eye use. I've never had a problem. So for me, I'm always using products um, interchangeably, but uh, my thoughts about this. This little palette, guys, is adorable. 
Um, I think 35 bucks, you can't beat it. You get two blushers, two highlighters. That's a good deal, I think, in my opinion. Um, your weight of this palette is 12 grams, so it's a reasonable amount. Um, but it's more a collector's piece. It's for the artwork, of course, and being a part of um, Disney, you know, Disney fandom, as I always say. And this mirror, I know I'm blending you guys one more time, but it's just so darn cute. Um, and then we'll show you the palette one more time here, the blusher highlighter palette. It's so cute. I think it's a yes. I think if you are uh, Disney obsessed or you love Sleeping Beauty, um, or even if you just want really high quality blushers and highlighters, this is a great palette for you. So this is a win for me. I'm so glad that I picked this up and that I get to keep this as a keepsake um, with all my other beautiful Disney items in my makeup collection and in my makeup room. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. And uh, in my description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my website. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.